Okay, so I just received this package before. It looks like it's from HK Nelstore because of that signature that's on it. Now, the uh, the last thing that I ordered from HK Nelstore was the full set of crazy and non-crazy pentahedrons. Um, but the thing, what there should be eleven of them, but there was uh, there was one that they didn't have in stock. It was the crazy five-layer pentahedron, and they said they won't be able to send me the package until. Uh, they get that one back in stock. So um, the last time I looked on my order details, which was today, there was still no tracking number. So there was no way I was expecting a package from them today. So I'm guessing this is either going to be the full set of uh, of pentahedrons, or it will be the full set of pentahedrons minus one, and they'll send me the uh, the missing one at a later date. But uh, yeah, let's open this up. It's kind of it's kind of rattler. Um, now that could just be the free stand that's in it, or maybe a couple of caps have come loose. Um, or it could be that one or two of them are damaged because this box looks quite uh, bashed in. Fingers crossed that none of them are damaged. So let's open this up. Oh. So there they are. Awesome. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's see whether I do have the full set or whether there is one missing. So if it's a full set there should be 11 of them. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, Couple of free cube stands there, so it must have been these that were uh, that were um, that were rattling around. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so that's the full set. Awesome. Um, weird because like on all of my other orders from HK and L Star, they've always put a tracking number um, on the order details once they send the package out but they didn't do with this one for some reason so um okay let's get the rest of these out i think these are just really awesome looking puzzles um these are more col uh, these are more common in stickless plastic can't even talk properly um but I prefer the way these look in black plastic and stickered So there we have it, the the, uh, the full set. Let's take a look at this stand. Yeah, it's the same as the one that I got last time. Moyu Cube, Mofang, Luntan dot com, and that's the same. Okay, so um. Yeah, some of these boxes have got different colours on them. Let's take a look at one of them. Crazy Pentahedron Puzzle. MF8. Diane. Eight planets. So there's eight planets and there's three non-planet ones. So crazy pentahedron puzzle and just pentahedron puzzle. Created in China. So 
think all these other gr uh, green boxes are, are the same. Yeah, and then we've got um, these two big, uh, bigger boxes with red on them. Yeah, this camera doesn't seem to be focusing at all, which is annoying. Pentahedron Puzzle 5 layer. Okay. Oh yeah, so these two boxes will be bigger because these are the, both the, the five layer puzzles. The rest of the puzzles are not five layers. So, um... Okay, so let's see what I've got. Let's open up this one. So, the first one that I've taken out of the box is the um, the five layer crazy pentahedron, which was the uh, the one that was missing at first. There on the sticker it says Dan and MFA. See what it turns like. Yeah, that turns rather well. That's a bit stiffer, but it still turns just fine. So as you can see, these corners they overlap the rest of the puzzle when you turn it. Interesting. Oops. Okay, let's see. Really, really cool. Hmm. So it seems like these crazy puzzles aren't that popular for some reason. Really don't know why, because the other ones are very popular, but for some reason these aren't. Um, let's open this one up. Right, let's just get these out of the way. Interesting piece of plastic in the box. And it's a cap. Let's see. Bring this camera down actually. So this is the five layer non crazy version. This is Earth. I think these are fantastic looking puzzles if I've not said already. And of course, because I bought these in the full set, it meant that I saved a lot of money. That's another cap that's fallen off. 
Oh, so that's um, a non crazy pentahedron. Uh, supposedly this solves like um, like a cuboid. So since I, since I can solve the three by three by four, maybe I'll be able to solve that. Maybe I'll, I won't find it too hard. Um, that's Neptune. So let's see. Uh, I'll put. put those. Okay. Um, put that like that. Jupiter. So there's no um, circle on the white face, but you get a circle on this purple face and this um, this yellow face. Saturn. Yeah, stickers. The sticker is a bit misaligned. Uranus. Move these back a bit more. Mercury. Mars. And then lastly, we have Venus. Feels a little stiff, but you know it's fine. Yeah, I'm sure the turning will be okay on all of them. Oops. Um, don't really know what to say to be honest. Uh, let's look at the colours. So, I've got white, orange, light blue, purple, and yellow. And um, yeah, most most of them follow the same colour scheme. Just these two, um, which seem to be different, I think. Oh, wait, no. If you turn them that way, now they're correct. The reason why I had them turned the other way is because, I don't know, they just kind of looked as though they were the right way up, you know, because of the label. 
because the MFA and down label it looks like it's the right way up whichever way you turn it like it looks like it's the right way up now if you turn it that way it still looks like it's the right way up so there is full set very very cool so um, I'm not going to scramble every single one of these on camera It'll take too long and it'll make for too much of a boring video but um, I'll scramble a few of them uh, let's start off with this uh, non crazy pentahedron let's make sure I'm in focus This one turns really nicely. Kind of hard to make it look fully scrambled. I think it's because uh, these puzzles don't have that many faces. Let's see, you've got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, well, it's only one less face than a three by three, so I don't know. There you go, so that is a scrambled um, standard pentahedron. Let's scramble up this standard. Five layer one. So with this one, it's as though they've taken one of these, you know, with just a circle on the top and the bottom, and um they've joined an extra thin layer onto the circle so you know so it will turn and the circle will obviously be a uh, what would it be a, a zero or a one I can't remember which is which now Sorry about that, my uh, camera stops recording every time um, it's been recording for 20 minutes. Not sure why it does that, but yeah, it's kind of hard, a bit hard to make this look properly scrambled as well, I suppose. There you go, scrambled um, standard 5 layer pentahedron. Okay, scramble this one now. A, uh, a crazy five layer pentahedron. These these thin layers move really, really uh, freely, which is a good thing.
Not sure if that's scrambled enough, but there you have a scrambled five layer crazy pentahedron. I'll just scramble two more, um, let's see. I'll scramble one of these ones, one of these three layer ones, and you've got a circle on every single face. So some of these don't have a circle on every single face. That moves pretty badly, that layer. Very stiff. And this layer is quite stiff as well, Jesus. Kind of moves so stiff that I'm worried that something might break when I'm, you know, because I'm having to really force it to turn. Uh, yeah, I think I heard something like um, the cores on these are prone to breaking. Um, I heard I heard something like that on the Twisty Puzzles forum. So I think maybe that's why these puzzles seem to be quite unpopular. I'm surprised that they're still widely available everywhere because they've been out for a few years now. And um, usually crazy puzzles um, become quite rare quite quickly. So that's a scrambled um, earth pantheon. Um, let's see. Scramble this one where you've just got a circle on this face and on this face, but you've got no circles on these curved faces. And this, this is moving quite stiff as well. Yeah, very much looking forward to getting into this series. Um, I'd like to start off with trying to solve the easiest one first and then, you know, work my way up and solve them by difficulty. I'm not sure whether these puzzles are particularly hard or not. There is a scrambled mercury. I'll give you a close look. I'll give you a close up look of this uh, five layer crazy one as well. I just think they're just very interesting looking puzzles. It's like the the kind of ugly looking yet very cool looking at the same time. In my opinion. So yeah, I'm really really glad I've got these. So that is the full set of uh, Dion and MFA crazy and non-crazy pentahedrons. Thanks for watching.